Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video and today what we're going to be showing you guys is the three new modes that are going to be coming into Brawl Stars. Now I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of tips, showing you guys a bunch of tricks, a bunch of gameplay, some brawlers that are going to be meta and just my overall thoughts on the mode. We're going to give you guys basically everything for all three of the new modes and honestly, I am blown away by how fun they are. I'm having fun just against one player or against bots, so I can't even imagine what it's going to be like on ladder or against your friends or anything like that. I'm super hyped for this game mode to come out. It is going to come out with the update. And if you guys are getting anything with the update, again, I would highly appreciate it if you guys can use code Bobby. I recently got my code. I am super hyped to have it. And I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it if you guys can support me and help me out. So with that being said, let's hop into the gameplay and let's show you guys the three new modes. So our first mode that we're going to be showing you guys today is going to be Basketball. Now this is the one that after I watched the Brawl Talk, I was super hyped about. Out of all the modes, all of the 3.5 modes that were coming out, this is the one that really stood out to me. Now I myself am just a basketball fan. I used to play basketball all the time as a kid. I still go outside and play with my friends. So this is one that kind of hit home. I was super excited to play it, and then when I got into it, there's actually a lot of difficulty with it. So we're going to mention some things and talk about some things that you're going to have to be aware of when playing this mode. And we're going to tell you guys a couple brawlers that are going to be really, really overpowered in this mode. So that being said, let's hop into it. So basketball is a little bit of a complex mode. At face value, it actually doesn't look like that. You know, it looks like there's just two nets going back and forth, and you just try and get a kill and try and put the ball in the net, but it's a lot more complex than that. So the map is obviously not built normally. It's not constructed like normal maps are. It's a little bit more squishy. Everyone's kind of squished into a smaller area. So what exactly does this mean? This means tanks are a lot more viable or high DPS is a lot more viable. Spawners are completely useless because every single goal that you score or that the other team scores, it's just, it's going to take away the spawners. And by the time you build it up, the tanks are going to run you over. There's just going to be no strategy for spawners whatsoever so that just don't even play spawners tanks are really good buzz is really good in this mode bull can even be really good primo can be really good the tankier you are and the more dps you do the better it is now as for shooting and scoring it goes as follows there's two point shots and there's three point shots the two point shots are kind of easy to hit they're not the easiest thing in the world we're all going to struggle the first couple days with scoring but as time goes on we're going to learn some techniques on how to score and stuff like that but right now it's pretty difficult the net's moving back and forth and unless it's basically an absolute clean swish there is a very high chance it's going to hit the rim bounce a little times and then come back out I was playing with Spen earlier, he missed like 18 shots in a row from right beside the net. It's it's very difficult to score, I'm not going to lie. Um, hopefully we get a little bit better at it, but I'm actually really happy that it's not that easy to score. It makes this mode a little bit more complex. Now, you also want to be playing brawlers that are good when they respawn. So a recent change that they made is when you respawn, you have little, or sorry, you have no ammo whatsoever. This is obviously going to be really impactful because if you respawn and you're like a spike, you're not going to have any shots to defend. You want to be something like a Carl, where you have your one shot or like a B where once you respawn, you get that shot and you instantly have your normal ammo straight away. Amber is going to be completely useless in this because once you respawn, you're only going to have one little flame and you're not really going to be able to do anything. So again, tanks are really good and then brawlers like Carl or B are going to be really good on this mode. Additionally, brawlers with really good mobility are awesome in this mode. Brawlers like Surge who can TP through the walls or TP forward. Carl with the flying hook, Buzz with your buoy that you can throw and kind of just like TP forward are really awesome to make plays and try and score. Mobility, DPS, and high HP is what you're going to be looking for in this mode. So the first brawler we're going to be showing you guys is Carl. Now Carl checks all the boxes that we just spoke about and it is really good in this mode. So something that it's maybe not the greatest in is DPS, but it's definitely not bottom half. It's upper half for DPS, and that's the worst thing that it's going to be in in this mode. It's extremely mobile, obviously, with its super and with its TP gadget, or I guess not TP, but the flying hook. It is really, really strong in this mode. Additionally, when you respawn, unlike Amber, you don't have just one flame of 280. You have your basically normal ammo. You respawn, you charge that one shot, and then there you go. You're back to normal. It's really good in this mode. With basically everything, even its HP, you have 6,160, I believe the number is. So you're pretty up good in every single statistical category that we have spoken about. And it's just a really strong brawler in this mode. 
you can make really cool plays with it as well. So I'm expecting some really cool, nice Carl kind of trick shot flying hook plays in Basketball. But this is going to be probably our number one meta brawler in this mode. Coming in at number two, we have Buzz. And I feel like this one's pretty self-explanatory. It's very similar to Carl. Has the high DPS, has good HP, has the extremely good movement with its regular super and then it's charging super. And since the map is so condensed, you're charging your super so easily. You basically have a super for the entirety of the game. And if you really need one, obviously you can just click that gadget and make a play. Every single box is checked off by Buzz as well. The only difference is that when you respawn, it's not that strong. When you respawn, just like every other brawler, you're going to have to recharge your ammo. And there's only like five brawlers in the game that this really doesn't affect. And unfortunately, Buzz is not one of the five. So there is a little bit of a downfall with that. But with every other box, just like Carl, it checks it. It's going to be super meta here, 100%. The only other issue is that I do expect there to be other tanks and high DPS units to be played in this mode again because it's so condensed. And that is what Buzz doesn't do really well into. So if there's three really skilled players on three things that might counter Buzz or might do well into Buzz, it might not be the greatest. But if you're facing anything besides that, Buzz is going to hard carry. It's going to dominate and it is definitely going to be the meta brawler on this mode. So our second mode that we're going to be showing you guys today is Volley Brawl. Now, I was also pretty interested in this mode, not as much as Basket Brawl, but let me tell you guys, my opinion on this actually changed a lot. I actually think this could be a very highly competitive mode, and honestly, I can even see it being in the 2022 Brawl Esports. Now, this mode is a lot more complex than it looks at face value. When you look at it, you're just like, okay, there's a volleyball kind of going back and forth, back and forth, and it looks pretty slow. In our Brawl Talk video, we said it looks like it takes about 10 seconds for it to go side to side. That is kind of true, but also not really. So as the game starts, there is a ball in the middle. The first team to hit that ball just to touch it one time, basically just run forward, is going to get the first touch, and the ball is going to go to the other team's side. When this happens it's going to be in the air for a very long time. This one's going to be totally easy. You're going to be able to hit it basically immediately. Unless your team, all of them go for the ball and die, there's basically going to be no chance you give up a point here. You're just going to stand under the ball and the ball is going to fly back to the other team and it's going to take a very long time for it to get there. Now, as time goes on, the ball is going to get faster and faster, meaning that you guys are going to actually have to be a lot more coordinated and a lot more fast with the defense than normal. Now, the reason I'm actually really interested in this mode is there's a lot of really sneaky plays you can make with this mode. There's a lot of brawlers that have knockbacks, that have pushes, that have gadgets, that have a lot of different things to get you off the ball. But there has to be a lot of team coordination. Reason being because if all of you guys go to make a play and they defend it and you die, you're going to lose a point. And this game is only up to two points. Whoever gets two points first wins. So you can't really be making any mistakes here. So I think you have to have one defender, one aggro, and one kind of middle ground player that makes plays. And I think it's just really highly, you know, tactical. I think there's a lot of strategy that goes into it, and that really interests me a lot. Now, brawlers that are good here are brawlers, again, that have pulls or knockbacks or plays. For example, Jean's pull, Gale knockback, Tara pull. You guys are going to see some of the new gadgets that I'm not going to be covering, but a lot of other YouTubers are going to be covering. They're going to be really good plays in this mode. Basically, anything to get someone out of an area is going to be a very good play and a very good brawler in this mode now i'm going to show you guys a couple brawlers that i think is going to be very meta in this mode so let's hop into that and let's show you guys what two brawlers i'm talking about so coming in at number one in this meta in my guess is going to be gene now obviously i have the gene bias i think always gene is the best everywhere basically but i actually really do think gene is going to be good here I think he's going to be your defense. He has a lot of range. You know, you don't really have that high DPS, but you have a good amount of HP and you don't really need to go close to anyone for them to affect you. Now, why is this good for defense? Because you can just chip away, you can get your super, and you can kind of just chill in the back of the map and no one can really kill you or anything and just hit the ball back to them. Now, eventually when you get that super, you're going to be able to walk up a little bit and you're going to try and pull someone away from the ball. If they're standing under the ball and you pull them away, obviously that ball is going to land and you're going to get a point. This is going to be a really good strategy, I think, and it's going to be meta basically in every map in this mode, I think, just because there's nothing that the other team can do. You either get pulled and you get pulled away from the ball or you move away from the pull, but the ball is going to land. There's basically no option. I think Gene is going to be very meta here. I don't think anything's going to be able to stop Gene. And if anyone really tries to come close to you and kill you, you always have that knockback gadget. And it's going to be very, very, very easy for you 
to just defend as Jean and play well as Jean on this mode. Now, our next meta brawler is going to be Gale. Now, why Gale, you guys might think? I think he's the perfect kind of just mid brawler. You can basically do everything with Gale. He's got good HP, good range, good damage. He's obviously got that knockback, which is going to be extremely valuable in this mode. But it's also going to be good if they're pushing onto you and trying to move you away from the ball. You can just knock them back. So, you know what? None of that today. I'm good. And the reason he is going to be extremely strong is because he gets his knockback so often. It doesn't take very long to charge your shots. This is generally going to be open maps for the most part. So, it's going to be really easy to just chain supers and get your supers. It's going to be a very 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 strong brawler on this mode 100 now the only downfall is that its gadget is not really going to be the strongest here i don't really see how you're going to be able to use the gadget really in any type of way on this mode maybe in some maps where there's some walls maybe there's going to be a way but i think the gadget's going to be basically useless so that's going to kind of be the downfall of gale on this mode maybe but still the knockbacks and how often you get them i believe is going to just absolutely carry this brawler and i think he is 100 thousand percent going to be meta on volley bro so coming in with our final mode we're going to have hold the trophy now this one out of the three new ones didn't interest me as much as the other two honestly i thought i'm not going to play this mode at all i didn't think it was going to be very fun but after playing a little bit i actually found it kind of fun now i thought you're going to be really weighed down by the trophy and to be honest you are but it's not going to be as bad as if you're like holding a present or something you can make a lot of really cool plays and honestly some of the meta brawlers that are meta in present plunder or were meta in present plunder are also going to be very meta here basically for the same reasons now we're going to get into that a little bit later but let me tell you guys a couple strategies that you're going to be wanting to use on this mode you're going to be wanting brawlers with some form of range just because brawlers are going to try and be hiding trying to run away from you etc and high dps i mean it's really not going to be the best strategy to have high dps brawlers here you kind of want control brawlers so brawlers like nita are actually going to be really good just stalling time while you have the trophy is going to be really important and if the other team has the trophy and you have three brawlers plus a nita bear on the ground there's going to be nothing the other team is going to be able to do so brawlers like that brawlers like leon who has team invisibility is going to be very strong with that new gadget again I know I'm not showing new gadgets, but a lot of other YouTubers are. I wanted to focus on just the modes today. There are a lot of really good brawlers and a lot of really high IQ strategies. You can even break open the walls with like Colt and just have DPS and range, which is again, a really good strategy. But I'm again, going to show you guys two brawlers that are going to be very overpowered and very good in this mode. So again, let's hop into it. Let's show you guys the two brawlers. So coming in at number one, we're going to have Surge. Now Surge, just like in Present Plunder, is going to be meta here basically for the exact same reasons. The mobility you have with the trophy is really good. You can throw it over walls and TP through them if you're cornered and have a free lane. You can TP through walls and try and catch someone holding the trophy and defend really well. You can obviously have your super to dodge shots, to try and make plays, to knock the trophy off of them. There's a lot of things that you guys can do with Surge in this mode it's going to be really broken to be honest surge in this mode um i don't really have anything else to say with it the dps is good the damage is pretty good the health isn't necessarily there but this is not a mode where you're staying alive for long periods of time you're trying to hold the trophy get 10 15 20 percent of that trophy of or sorry of that trophy when you're alive try and make a play you know you're gonna fall down you're obviously gonna die when holding the trophy and they're gonna respawn and try and do it again and surge is just really good at rinse and repeat do it over and over i think it's gonna be a really good brawler here probably the most meta brawler here but there is one other brawler that does contest it and i didn't think it was gonna necessarily be meta but spen absolutely destroyed me with it in this mode so you know i'm gonna admit to it that it's meta Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is. So the second meta brawler that we're going to have for you guys is Stu. And it's going to be for a lot of the same reasons as I said Surge was going to be meta. The mobility once you have the trophy is really good. Again, just like Surge, if you're cornered, you can click that green button, click the gadget button, and just literally dash through a wall. You can't get yourself cornered because if you do, you know what? It's fine. You just dash through a wall and you will be perfectly fine i mean maybe you won't be perfectly fine but i mean it is a play and then same thing with surge if someone has the trophy and is on the other side of a wall you don't need to walk around that thing just dash through it and you're going to be able to get the kill very very easily now again same thing as surge when i talk about you're not going to be staying alive for a long amount of time you have the exact same hp actually as surge basically the same thing you're going to try and get 10 20 15 percent with the trophy you're going to die you're going to respawn and you're going to just try and take that back as fast as you can and just try again to do 15 20 percent 
and try and win the game. On top of that, this brawl is just a pesk. It's obviously, it's obviously super annoying and very overpowered if you're good with it, as you guys have seen with competitive. So I would highly recommend playing Stu on this mode 100%, as Spen has clearly taught me as evidence from this gameplay. So that's gonna be it for me today. If you guys, again, enjoyed this video, let me know. A lot of the YouTubers try and cover everything that we're allowed to cover, but personally, I know that they're gonna do that, so I'm just trying to go really in depth into one area that I think you guys might be interested in. I know Spen was doing gadgets, so I said, you know what, I'm just gonna do the modes, why not? And honestly, these three modes, specifically Volleyball and Basketball, I'm super hyped for and I honestly hope do stay in the game permanently. I know you guys haven't gotten to play it yet, but I've had a blast and I know you guys will too. So again, if you guys can use code Bobby during the update, that would mean a ton. But that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys did, obviously like, subscribe, comment, do all that. I'll be back again tomorrow with some gameplay. I'll see you guys then. Peace.